everybody and welcome back to some more Minecraft. Alright, today um, I'll be doing a redstone contraptions review on this um, this um, this boat launch I made. Now, um, this is not my original idea. I got it from some guy on the internet. And um, I'll put um, his her channel in the description and the original video that I learned how to make this boat launch from. Now, it's all the same uh, redstone wiring. But except for the roof, um, I made the design a little bit different. I, had some, I added some item frames, cause back th um, in th in their video, um, it, was li it was like alpha or something, Minecraft alpha. I don't know. It was really old, but it was on a server. But um, yeah, I'll put the link in the description and uh, the link to the channel. And um, yeah, all credit goes to them. Now I just wanted to do a review on this, cause it was just a really good idea. But um, I a I edited some stuff right here because um, you can actually com do co a comparison on f of uh, my video and um, their video. Now I added some chests here um, where there's tons of boats and um, yep yeah. and I also added this part so you don't crash as often and um, yeah so you just gotta come in slowly and stuff. Alright so I'm gonna um, walk you through how to uh, um, launch this. Now, um, if you want me to do a tutori tutorial on how to um, build this boat launch, um, then just post it in the comments and um, I'll respond. Alright, um, let's get started. So, we're going to take a boat and uh, put it on this quartz block. Now, we're going to get into it, press the button, and the piston will retract, and it'll send us, it'll send us um, uh, onto here. Now, the momentum of this and um, this river flowing this way isn't strong enough for us to like get launched all the way out there but just strong enough to get s for us to get launched in the water now those pistons are active constantly by redstone torch and um and when i press the button that deactivates the redstone torch which then retracts the pistons and releases the water all right so let's get turned around here we're gonna be um coming back in here oh no this is too fast too fast too fast. Maybe not. All right. So we made it back. Um, all right. We did that. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of signs here. And um, let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna press a button here, and the piston will retract. It'll send the water flowing that way, and it'll send me flowing into here. And this also sends me flowing extra here, so that gives me some more momentum. And that, and but right here is where, um, right here is where it um, goes against the momentum of my boat and it just leaves it there. So now these pi these uh, pressure plates are to retract those pistons over there, as you can see here. Let me go creative. Um, when I fly off the pistons, um, you'll see that they um, don't retract; they extract. Uh, I, I I don't know, but um, as you can see here, it's dry. But when, um, when I step on these. They go down so that the boat has time to go into it, and then they um, go out, and we're back on dry land. So, yep. Yeah. All right. So um, let's try this one more time. Um, get the boat here. Oh my gosh, I always fall into there. <laughs> but let's get the boat. Climb in. Oh, we have to go survival. Now, unfortunately, I made the roof too low, and I take a uh, half heart of damage when I go here. But it's not really that big of a deal, you know. I mean, it's pretty cool definitely worth it. I mean, I don't think it really matters. Whoa, there's a glitch. I don't have any hunger when I'm inside the boat. Can you eat inside the boat? Let me see this for, for a second. Hold on. I actually never tried this before. Um, you can eat, eat inside the boat, but it doesn't show your hunger bar. Wow, that is, that's, that's a bug. I'm pretty sure that's a bug. But here, let me see if, uh, you still get enchanting levels, so. That's interesting. I w I've never noticed that, um, or I've never really gotten in a boat that much. But um, yeah, there's no hunger bar, so uh, let me just throw all these exp XP potions out. Oh, so that's how much XP potions give you for a stack. All right, so let's go back here, and um, whoa! Don't crash! Don't crash! Don't crash! We're gonna crash! We're gonna crash! Yeah! Whoa! Yeah, we, we went way too fast. All right. Anyways, um, let me put this away. Uh, actually, I'll just leave it there. Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, again, if you don't, if you want me to do a tutorial on this, then um, just uh, post in the comments below, and I will quickly respond, hopefully, and um, make a tutorial. 
Alright, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, as always, see you next vid.